After receiving disappointing news in early August about the volleyball season due to COVID-19, the mood is a lot different after Monday's vote by the State High School League to reverse course and start a fall season with practices beginning next Monday. At first we were excited to have this little training window of three weeks and 12 practices, like we'll do the best we can and then all of a sudden we get halfway through, through it last week and said, oh by the way, we're going to have a new meeting next week and see we might have an actual season. So it kind of caught us off guard, but in an exciting way versus earlier in the fall when they said, uh, by the new way, we're not going to have a season. So it's completely flipped 180 degrees as far as the emotions of things. So uh, we're just going to go with the next week and have some fun. Champlain Park coach John Yunker estimates that 90% of his 9th through 12th grade players are competing in fall leagues through clubs. Whether the players can finish those leagues while starting high school play isn't clear. But big picture, it's still welcome news. It uh, is nice that it alleviates some things. There was some concern if it was in the spring that it might conflict and how those hurdles were going to be crossed and, and those obstacles were going to be crossed if I was right in the middle of the J.O. season. So uh, a big sigh of relief for both those things. Um, it, it does leave a few more questions to be answered as far as what these next couple weeks will look like as far as finishing up some fall stuff and whatever else. But the major, the two positive, major positives are that we have a fall season and we're excited about that and, and there's not the concern about players having to choose one or the other in the spring should we, would we have had a spring season. It'll be a shorter season with a state tournament unlikely, but it's still an exciting development for local volleyball players and coaches. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.